If feeling sick, trying to figure out what you may have, well, a local specialist says don't rule out the flu, even though it's almost May. He tells Courtney Friedman why this flu season is still continuing far past its usual end date. In late April, we've usually moved on from the flu and are more focused on pollen allergies and other circulating viruses, but not this year. We are seeing ongoing flu activity. If you look at CDC flu view, it's overall low for the United States, but it's increased a little bit from the week before. Infectious disease expert Dr. Jason Bowling with University Health and UT Health San Antonio says a COVID ripple effect is to blame. When we are doing all the measures, that the public health measures to reduce the risk of transmission of COVID, that's effective against influenza as well, right? So wearing the mask, people not traveling as much, avoiding large crowds. As those public health measures relaxed, people became vulnerable to viruses like the flu that they haven't been exposed to in a while. If they didn't get the vaccine, um, if they you know, hadn't had a flu infection in a while, we have a lot of susceptible people. So first things first, if you're immunocompromised, keep wearing your mask. Wash your hands well, be careful in large crowds. So if you feel really sick, you've got a fever and body aches and you test negative for COVID-19, you might actually have the flu. So make an appointment with your doctor and make sure to ask for a flu test. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.